billion dollars. That's a lot of money to oversee. It is. This is money that um, you know is invested with big banks, the big sure. banks that he went after successfully uh, as the sheriff of Wall Street. There's some great irony to this whole situation. <laughs> there is. But he's shooting low for comptroller. I mean, he, he is. It's probably a smart move. You go mm -hmm. down lower. People may be forgiving for that. But as a comedian, this is great. We got him. We got Wiener. If we could just get Sylvia Berlusconi to move to New York, they run together. It's a dream team. But the guy spent four thousand dollars on one prostitute. How can we trust him with our money? He should have shopped around, haggled. That's a ridiculous price. And uh, to be honest, it's made the entire race. I thought Wiener had a chance for redemption. Add Spitzer, it turns this whole thing into a Just Comedy Central special. This, it's a whole, joke. this whole story and then Wiener's name constantly coming into it is, 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 is tough to take, um, at least from a comedic point of view. Ryan, Spitzer does have the credentials, though. The guy's incredibly bright. We know that. Okay, but does that mean that he will be forgiven? I do not like Elliot Spitzer, and I think that many people who have crossed paths with Elliot Spitzer feel the same way. But the thing is that New York City is facing an enormous budget crisis. And the truth is that Elliot Spitzer had many flaws as a human being and as a governor. One thing he did do, however, was keep an eye on overspending. He kept an eye on overspending at the Except World Trade Center site. Well, look, $80,000 altogether you know, on prostitutes. I honestly think that's really appalling, but I also think that what's really appalling is the fiscal mm -hmm. state of New York City. This is Fair a city point. where, you know, spending has increased in inflation adjusted terms by more than 50% under Bloomberg. You have pension and benefit costs <laughs> ballooning. This is a huge problem, and you need a fiscal watchdog, and that's something that he's very well suited to do. Mm -hmm. So I don't love point. the guy, but he should be in the mix. He should be in the race. Stephanie, Stephen Ratner, um, the venture capitalist friend of, uh, of, of, of Elliot Spitzer's, was on MSNBC with uh, my friends Joan Mika this morning. And he said, I have no doubt watching Sanford and watching Wiener, referring to Mark Sanford, of course, in South Carolina, and of course, uh, Wiener, he said, <laughs> why not me? I mean, do you think there was a little bit of that? I mean, come on. I mean, why not, why not John Edwards? Well, exactly. You know, the, there's been a kind of the bar has been lowered on sex scandals. And I have to admit to being kind of a fan of Wiener and Spitzer. And I think I would like to move to New York and run both of their campaigns just so I could say hi. It's Stephanie Miller calling from uh, Wiener Spitzer. Um, but oh. I, I think that I think that you raise a good point that, that you yeah. know, honestly, I, you know, is falling in love with a mistress or impregnating the nanny in your bed worse than this? Probably. And, you know, certainly other people have been forgiven. And I happen to think he's a really smart guy. And I think he's been really great on financial stuff, including mm. Wall Street. And he's well suited for this job. Uh, the, the, the problem yeah. is this is a crime that he himself had prosecuted. He actually declared a war on Johns. And then he turns around and does this. This is very serious right, hypocrisy. hypocrisy. But we have to need a smart guy in this job. At least we have one